my name is Dr. Splickle, functional podiatrist and human movement specialist. I want to speak to you about neuromas. Now, neuroma is a classic symptom to the front of the foot where you may feel a sharp pain or a tingling and numbness into your toes. Often called or referred to as Morton's neuroma, is actually not appropriate or correct in all cases. A Morton's neuroma is a neuroma that is specifically located between toes three and four. However, you can have a neuroma in any of your interspaces or between any of your metatarsals. Now, what is a neuroma? A neuroma is a crossing of the nerve bundles on the bottom of the foot. And as they cross each other, there's this opportunity for them to create a little bit of a intercrossing or a bundle that becomes scarred and irritated. This scarring and irritation can be because of improper stabilization of the foot, restrictive footwear, or any other imbalance that is common to the forefoot. Now, when you experience neuroma symptoms, this may be because of two common reasons. Is it that your neuroma is inflamed, which means you have the neuroma and there's inflammation sitting around that tissue? Or is it because your neuroma is larger, it's growing, and it's becoming essentially space occupying? When I approach a patient, the approach is slightly different depending on is it inflammation or is it the size of the neuroma? Now, in the case of a patient that has inflammation around the neuroma, this is typically addressed with steroid injections. Typically, I'll start with one steroid injection, and a patient will often respond because of the decrease in inflammation. Now, if it is more the size of the neuroma, you can use a steroid, but that's just decreasing the inflammation. The size of the neuroma cannot be reduced unless you do other techniques, such as alcohol injections, which are sclerosing, a cryo technique, which is a freezing of the neuroma, or a radiofrequency ablation, which is also sclerosing or shrinking the size of the neuroma. Now, regardless of those techniques that you're using, some great conservative treatment that you could do in addition to injections includes a metatarsal pad. Now, a metatarsal pad works by opening up the metatarsal heads. It opens up the forefoot, and this decreases the chance of you compressing and irritating that neuroma. I also encourage patients to use wider shoes and wear shoes that are made of more forgiving material because we want to have that splay or that spread of the forefoot. I also recommend using a toe spacer such as correct toes. By opening up those toes, you're essentially opening up the small muscles of the foot. And then finally, I encourage patients to do myofascial release to the bottom of the foot. There's a great ball, a release round by Rad Roller that is great to get deep into those small muscles. So again, neuromas are best treated through a combination of injection therapy with conservative treatment, such as padding, myofascial release, and footwear modification. To learn more, please go to dremilysplickle.com.